For years, Declan had lived with the agony of his wife Ava's mysterious disappearance, a case that had long gone cold with no leads. In an attempt to move forward, he found himself reluctantly swiping through a dating app, only to freeze in disbelief when Ava's smiling face appeared on his screen, her profile marked as recently active. Heart pounding, he sent a message, never expecting a response. But the reply he received moments later turned his world upside down. Declan still couldn't believe that he had come across this profile when his phone pinged a few seconds later. His eyes widened when he saw that he had received a reply from Ava. Was this really happening? With trembling hands, he opened it, and he almost dropped his phone when he read what she had sent him. Meet me tonight, Orv 8, you know where. Declan reread this message a dozen times until the words made no sense anymore, and he still did not understand how this was possible. However, without thinking about it, he canceled all his plans for that evening, and his eyes filled with tears as he realized what he was doing. Declan scolded himself for falling for this stupid trick. Surely, if his wife was alive, she would have reached out to him in another way. Whatever was going on, Ava couldn't be behind it, Declan thought. However, he was determined to find answers. What had happened to Ava? Was it really her who had sent him that message? And what was going to happen that evening at the meeting point? For a while, Declan just sat in his chair and let his mind wander. He thought about contacting Ava's family. But then again, he couldn't think of the right words to say. Ava has been missing for years, but I found her on a dating app and I'm seeing her tonight was definitely not the way to bring this news to them. The text hadn't mentioned a specific location, but Declan thought he knew what Ava, or, well, the sender, meant. There was one place that immediately came to mind. He had decided that he would be there at eight to check it out, but he didn't want to have any expectations. A small part of him, somewhere deep inside, hoped that it would really be Ava. But he knew that was very unlikely. Declan glanced at the clock and sighed when he saw that it was not even noon yet. He tried to continue his work, but he just found himself staring at his screen as his mind wandered to Ava. He knew he'd lost his focus completely for the rest of the day, so after an hour of failed attempts to get some work done, he closed his laptop. He opened Ava's dating profile and scrolled through it, curious to see if he'd find any other information. Could this really be her? He wondered as he looked at her photos. Sadly, he couldn't find anything useful, and there was no proof that this was really Ava. The profile didn't have much information, and he realized that all of the photos could have been taken from her social media accounts. Declan suddenly burst into tears. He had just started to slowly get over the pain and heartbreak of losing Ava, and now this happened. His heart started beating faster, simply at the thought of seeing her again. If this was really her, and she was still alive and well, it would be like a dream come true. But if it wasn't, he'd have to start his process of grieving all over again. He took a cold shower and then came up with a plan. He packed all the supplies he needed and then finished some work around the house, cleaning, mostly, while he waited for the time to pass. At seven, he got in his car and started driving. He was on his way to his and Ava's talking spot, as they used to call it. It was a bench in a secluded area of a nearby park. Whenever they had problems or serious issues they wanted to discuss, they sat on this bench and talked it out. He parked his car right next to the park, and he'd found the perfect spot. From there, he had a great view of the park and he hoped he would spot whoever was coming to meet him before they saw him. Declan parked his car near their old talking spot, adjusting his rear-view mirror to better observe the park's entrance. He pulled out his camera, setting it on the dashboard, ready to zoom in on anyone approaching the bench. 
he fiddled with the focus, ensuring he could capture clear images. All was set. Now, all he had to do was watch and wait. From behind his camera, Declan watched as the park filled with the usual evening crowd. He took note of each person, a woman in jogging gear sprinting past, a man throwing a frisbee to his dog, and a couple pushing a stroller along the winding path. Each person was a potential, but none fit the figure he was desperate to see. Hours seemed to drag as Declan kept his eyes glued to the park scenes unfolding before him. Children chased each other around, their laughter piercing the evening air, while an old man read a newspaper on another bench. Nothing out of the ordinary happened, and as the sun began to set, a slight unease crept into Declan's heart. As the clock neared eight, Declan's anticipation turned into anxiety. He scanned every new face, hoping for a glimpse of Ava or anyone that might resemble her. Couples came and went, shadows grew longer, and the golden hour faded into twilight. Yet, the bench next to his remained empty, untouched by the person he hoped to see. Disheartened but not defeated, Declan decided to stay put. The park lights flickered on, casting a soft glow over the empty paths. Maybe she was just running late, he thought, trying to muster some optimism. He adjusted his camera lens, focusing once more on the bench, and settled in for a longer wait than he had planned. Time ticked by slowly at the park, with each minute stretching longer than the last. Declan checked his watch repeatedly, feeling each second deepen his disappointment. The park's laughter and chatter faded into quiet murmurs, and the evening chill set in. He hugged his jacket tighter around him, trying not to let worry overtake the dwindling hope that Ava might still appear. As the park lights grew brighter against the darkening sky and fewer people passed by, Declan faced the hard truth. Ava might not show up tonight. He watched the last few families pack up their picnics and joggers trot past him one last time, their footsteps echoing the sinking reality in his heart. The park was emptying, and so was his hope. With a heavy heart, Declan started to pack up his camera. He wrapped it carefully, his hands moving mechanically. Every motion felt heavier than usual as he stowed his gear back into its bag. He chastised himself silently for letting hope get the better of him. He should have known better than to think she'd just appear after all this time. Declan slid into the driver's seat of his car, the leather cold against his skin. He inserted the key into the ignition and turned it, the engine sputtering to life with a familiar hum. His mind was a whirlpool of unanswered questions. What should he do next? Should he try to find her again? Or was it time to let go? Just as Declan shifted into reverse, ready to leave the park behind, a mysterious figure caught his eye. Dressed in dark, hooded clothes, the figure appeared near the bench they used to share. Declan's heart skipped a beat. He turned off the engine, his hand pausing on the key. He reached for his camera, his fingers trembling slightly as he aimed it at the figure. Curious and cautious, Declan quickly killed the engine and grabbed his camera, leaning over to snap a few quick photos through his car window. The mysterious figure moved awkwardly around the bench, their movements hesitant and guarded. Declan adjusted the focus, trying to capture any defining features that could hint at the person's identity. The person continued to pace around the bench, occasionally stopping to glance around suspiciously. They seemed to be waiting for someone, their head turning at the slightest sound. From his car, Declan watched noting how the figure kept to the shadows, blending into the dim evening light. It was clear they didn't want to be seen or approached easily. From his slightly angled position, Declan tried to see the person's face, but the hood they wore dipped low, casting their features into shadow. He zoomed in as much as possible, but the details remained frustratingly indistinct. 
the mystery deepened, and Declan's intrigue grew. Whoever this was, they were intentionally keeping their identity hidden. Convinced that this person might have a connection to Ava, Declan's resolve hardened. He quietly exited his car, closing the door with a soft click that barely whispered through the night air. Staying low, he moved stealthily towards the figure, using the scattered trees and bushes for cover. Every step brought him closer to potentially unraveling the night's mysteries. Navigating the dimly lit park, Declan moved closer to the mysterious figure by the bench. He tread carefully, avoiding dry leaves and twigs that might betray his approach. With each cautious step, the distance between him and the hooded figure lessened. His heart raced with a mix of fear and anticipation as he prepared for what might come next. As Declan edged closer, he braced himself for whatever might come. His steps were deliberate and quiet, his breath controlled. He knew a confrontation might be inevitable, but he needed answers more than anything. With each step, he prepared mentally for a possible encounter. His eyes locked on the shadowy figure ahead, still oblivious to his approach. Reaching the figure, Declan's careful movements kept him unnoticed until he was only a few steps away. The night air was still, and the only sounds were the distant rustle of leaves and the soft crunch of his footsteps on the gravel path. He paused, watching the figure's tense posture as he prepared to make his presence known. Suddenly, Declan couldn't hold back anymore. Ava, is that you? He called out tentatively. His voice echoed slightly in the quiet park, startling the figure. He watched as the body tensed further, clearly caught off guard. Declan's heart pounded. This was the moment he might finally get some answers, or perhaps only more questions. At the sound of his voice, the figure turned abruptly, their movements quick and skittish. In a swift motion, they pulled the hood down further, shielding their face even more from Declan's view. The quick glimpse he caught was not enough to confirm anything. The figure seemed to be assessing the situation, deciding what to do next. Before Declan could get a closer look, the person darted away, disappearing into the shadows of the night. The suddenness of their flight caught Declan off guard, but he wasn't about to give up. As the figure vanished into the darkness, Declan's instincts kicked in. He knew he had to follow. The night was far from over, and his quest for answers was just intensifying. Surprised by the sudden flight, Declan instinctively chased after the figure, his heart pounding as he hoped for answers. He sprinted through the park, dodging around trees and benches, his eyes locked on the swiftly moving shadow ahead. Each stride brought a mix of hope and desperation. He needed to catch up, to confirm if it was truly her, or at least to understand why she fled. Declan ran hard, calling out, Stop! Please! Just wait! His voice strained in the quiet of the evening, but the figure just kept running their pace relentless and determined. Declan pushed himself harder, his breaths becoming ragged as he tried to close the distance between them. The park seemed to stretch endlessly ahead, the figure always just out of reach. Despite his best efforts, the figure proved too fast. Declan watched helplessly as they slipped further away, disappearing among a thicket of trees. His pace slowed as he realized he was losing sight of them. The shadows of the trees seemed to swallow the figure whole, leaving Declan staring into empty darkness, the sounds of his pursuit echoing off in vain. Breathless and confused, Declan stopped running. His sides ached and his breath came in heavy, uneven gasps. He looked around, realizing he had lost the chase deep within the park. The silence around him felt heavy, a stark contrast to the frantic pounding of his heart. He bent over, hands on his knees, trying to catch his breath and gather his thoughts. Declan stood upright again and scanned the area, 
The mysterious figure had vanished without a trace. The park was quiet now, the excitement of the chase replaced by a deep, unsettling quiet. Declan felt a chill as he looked around the dimly lit paths and empty spaces where the figure had just been. There was no sign of them anywhere. Frustrated but determined, Declan headed back to his car, his mind racing with possibilities. Each step was heavy with disappointment, yet spurred by a need to understand. He replayed the night's events as he walked, trying to piece together what little he had seen. Reaching his car, he threw open the door, sank into the driver's seat, and slammed the door shut, enveloped in thought. Once inside, Declan pulled out his camera. He scrolled through the photos he had snapped in haste, hoping they might reveal something, anything, about the figure. With a few taps, he zoomed in on each picture, studying the shapes and shadows, looking for clues in the folds of the clothing or the posture that might help him identify who it was. Driving home, Declan felt a mix of disappointment and intrigue. The car's hum was a soft background to his racing thoughts. What was supposed to be a simple meeting had turned into a chase, a mystery with more questions than answers. The empty streets blurred past as he drove, each street light casting brief flashes of light across his determined face. Once home, Declan wasted no time transferring the photos from his camera to his laptop. He plugged in the USB cable, his fingers working quickly. As soon as the images loaded, he opened them one by one, his eyes eager for any leads. Each click brought a new image to life on his screen, each with potential to break the case wide open. He zoomed into the pictures, focusing intently on the figure's obscured face and attire. Declan adjusted the brightness and contrast, trying to make out any defining features. His mouse scrolled over each detail, lingering on the edges where the light caught the figure's form. The shadows in the photos danced under his manipulation, teasing with hints but revealing little. Despite his meticulous efforts with editing software, the photos remained inconclusive. Declan zoomed, enhanced, and adjusted the settings, but the images showed no clear features that could help identify the mysterious figure. Each adjustment only brought blurred shadows and indistinct forms, leaving him squinting at the screen, frustrated by the lack of clarity in the grainy nighttime shots. Disappointed but not defeated, Declan saved the photos for further analysis later. He created a new folder on his laptop, labeling it with the date and location, and transferred all the images into it. With a deep sigh, he closed his laptop, knowing he needed a break and maybe a fresh perspective to make any new discoveries from what little he had. Needing more information, Declan logged back into the dating app where he'd found Ava's profile. His fingers were steady as he typed in his credentials, his mind racing with possibilities. He navigated to his recent messages, clicking on the conversation that had started this whole surreal night, hoping maybe Ava had left another clue or message. He navigated to his recent messages, clicking on the conversation that had started this whole surreal night, hoping maybe Ava had left another clue or message. To his dismay, he discovered that Ava's profile had vanished completely. Where there had once been messages and photos, there was now just a blank space. User not found, read the error message that greeted him. Declan refreshed the page several times, hoping it was just a glitch, but it became clear that the profile was gone, adding another layer to his confusion. Frustrated, Declan didn't stop there. He opened several other social and dating apps, typing Ava's name into each search bar. He scrolled through lists of faces, clicked on similar profiles, and even tried variations of her name, hoping to find any trace or clue linked to her. As minutes turned into hours, his initial determination turned into a frantic search, driven by a mix of hope and desperation. With no success on the apps, Declan felt a growing sense of urgency and helplessness wash over him. 
He tapped on the screen, exiting each application one by one, his movements slow and deliberate. The lack of progress gnawed at him, deepening the pit of unease in his stomach. Alone in his silent home, he felt the weight of the situation tightening around him. He logged off, sitting back in the quiet of his room, pondering his next steps. The silence around him was palpable, filled only by the occasional creak of the house settling. Declan rubbed his temples, trying to think through the fog of confusion and disappointment that clouded his mind. What to do next? The question loomed large, unanswered in the unsettling stillness. Just as Declan settled deeper into his thoughts, his phone buzzed loudly on the table, shattering the silence. He jumped slightly, not expecting any calls this late. Grabbing the phone, he saw a name flash across the screen that he hadn't seen in a while. With a mix of curiosity and apprehension, he answered the call, his voice cautious. Hello? Eric, an old friend, was on the line. His voice rushed and panicked. Declan, you've got to help me, he blurted out, his words tumbling over each other. His tone was cryptic, filled with an urgency that Declan couldn't ignore. Declan held the phone tighter, trying to make sense of Eric's rambling but caught off guard by the seriousness of the situation. Despite his confusion over Eric's disjointed explanations, Declan caught the seriousness of his tone, and he instantly felt a rush of adrenaline. Slow down, Eric. What's going on? he asked, his voice firm yet concerned. Eric's words were hard to follow, but Declan knew this was serious. He needed to understand what was happening, and quickly. At Eric's insistence, Declan grabbed his keys and headed out to help his friend. He felt a mix of concern and curiosity as he pulled on his jacket and rushed to the car. The night air was cool against his skin as he jumped into the driver's seat, his mind racing with questions about what urgent matter could have driven Eric to sound so desperate on the phone. He drove to Eric's house, his mind filled with apprehension about what awaited him. The streets were quiet, and the familiar route seemed more ominous under the moonlit sky. As Declan turned onto Eric's street, his grip tightened on the steering wheel, bracing for any scenario. Each house he passed was silent, dark windows staring back like vacant eyes. Eric hurried into the car, immediately apologizing as he closed the door with a thud. Sorry, I had to call you. There's no one else I could ask, he said, catching his breath. Just drive. I'll explain on the way, he added, pointing towards the main road. Declan nodded, pulling away from the curb while Eric fiddled nervously with his phone. Navigating the night streets, Declan followed Eric's directions to a secluded, seemingly abandoned garage on the outskirts of town. The roads grew less familiar and more desolate as they ventured further from the city center. Eric's instructions were precise. Left here, then straight, until you see the old fire station guiding Declan through the darkness to their mysterious destination. Eric's nervousness was palpable, adding tension to the silent drive. He kept glancing back as if they were being followed, his hands clenching and unclenching in his lap. The car's headlights cut through the night, the only sound the low hum of the engine and the occasional crunch of gravel under tires. Declan remained focused on the road the weight of the situation pressing down on him. They arrived at the secluded garage, and Eric, with a serious look, urged Declan to enter with him. It's important. You need to see this, Eric whispered, his voice heavy with urgency. Hesitant yet trusting, Declan followed, his footsteps echoing slightly in the quiet night as they approached the large metal door that groaned softly as they pushed it open. With trust overcoming his confusion, Declan stepped into the dimly lit interior of the garage. His eyes scanned the shadows, adjusting to the sparse light filtering through a dirty window. The air was cool and smelled faintly of oil and metal. Eric stayed close, his presence reassuring as Declan moved further inside, 
his senses alert to every small sound and movement. Inside the garage, as Declan's eyes adjusted to the dim light, a figure detached itself from the shadows. It was the hooded figure he had chased in the park, now standing still, waiting. Declan's heart raced as he stepped closer, his earlier chase flashing through his mind. The figure stood motionless, the tension palpable in the quiet, dusty air of the garage. As Declan was about to demand answers, the figure reached up slowly and pulled back their hood. The face that emerged from the shadows was familiar, yet startlingly unexpected. It was Ava. Her eyes met his, filled with a mix of fear and relief. The moment hung suspended, charged with an intense mix of emotions as Declan stared, speechless. Declan burst into tears as the realization hit him. Ava was alive. She stepped forward, her expression weary yet hopeful. Eric stood back, giving them space, his job done. Declan moved towards Ava, his mind reeling, tears streaming down his face. He had so many questions, but for now, they were washed away by the overwhelming relief of seeing her again. Shocked and overwhelmed, Declan listened as Ava explained her need for secrecy. In the dim light of the garage, her voice was low and urgent, detailing the dangers that had shadowed her past. She paced slightly as she spoke, the movement betraying her anxiety. Declan watched her, absorbing every word, trying to reconcile the pain of their past separation with the woman in front of him. Ava detailed how the threats in her life had forced her to disappear. I used the dating app to safely reconnect with you, she explained, her eyes meeting Declan's with a mix of fear and hope. It was the only way I knew you wouldn't be monitored by anyone dangerous. Her hands were animated as she spoke, emphasizing the desperation of her actions. She expressed her ongoing love and the pain of their separation, her voice breaking with emotion. I'm so sorry for all the years lost, Ava apologized, her eyes glistening with unshed tears. She reached out, touching Declan's arm gently, conveying more with her touch than words could ever say. Declan's response was a nod, his own emotions mirrored in his eyes as he listened. Reunited, Declan and Ava embraced, their connection undiminished by time and trials. They held each other tightly, the kind of embrace that spoke of deep bonds and shared struggles. Ava buried her face in Declan's shoulder, and he closed his eyes, savoring the moment of reunion. The cold, hard surroundings of the garage faded away as they clung to each other. Ava informed Declan that recent events had finally neutralized the threats against her, and she was ready to return to her life. It's over. I can come home now, she said, a tentative smile breaking through. Her hands held Declan's as she spoke of plans for the future, her voice filled with relief and a newfound hope. Declan squeezed her hands back, his heart lighter than it had been in years. Ava and Declan returned to their home together, their steps lighter than they had been in years. They entered the familiar space, each room echoing with memories of the past and now promises of the future. Together, they unpacked Ava's few belongings, placing them back into their old spots, each item symbolizing her return and the new start they were about to embark on. With safety no longer a concern, they discussed their future openly and with hope. Sitting at the kitchen table with cups of coffee, they talked about everything, from mundane plans like home renovations to grand dreams of travels and new experiences. Laughter filled the air as they planned, the heavy shadow that had hung over their lives finally lifted. To symbolize their renewed commitment, they decided to renew their wedding vows. They spent the evening browsing online for the perfect spot, eventually choosing a quiet garden that held special meaning from their early days together. Ava sketched ideas on a notepad, 
her eyes bright with excitement. While Declan made calls to arrange everything, his voice warm with anticipation. A small ceremony was planned, attended by those who supported them throughout their ordeal. Friends and family gathered in the serene garden, surrounded by blooming flowers and soft music. Ava and Declan stood hand in hand, exchanging vows with more depth and feeling than ever before. Each guest's face reflected the joy and relief of the couple's long-awaited reunion and renewal. The story concludes with Declan and Ava at their special bench in the nearby park, optimistic about their future together, free from fear. They watched the sunset, its colors casting a warm glow over the scene. Holding hands, they talked about all the possibilities now open to them, their conversation light and full of laughter. As darkness fell, they stood and walked home together, ready for whatever lay ahead. You like this touching and surprising story? If so, we invite you to leave us a comment expressing your opinion. If you want to continue enjoying inspiring stories like this one, subscribe to our channel or check out the other videos shown at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for your cooperation.